Hi, I'm Satomi, a licensed tour guide for foreign tourists. I live in Gifu Prefecture, located in central Japan. Today, I'm in the castle town in Mino City. Mino City is a famous producer of Japanese paper. It is also famous for udatsu or fire prevention walls. Can you see a small roof on the house roof? It is on the top of the fire prevention wall between two houses. In old times, once a fire took place, it spread quickly, but udatsu or fire prevention walls curved the speed of spreading, and people could carry out their household goods. This is the Imai's house built about 300 years ago. It was a mino paper wholesaler in old times. Now, the building is a museum where you can learn about mino paper. Mino paper was designated as the World Intangible Cultural Heritage in 2014. Do you know certificates for athletes of 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics were made of Mino Japanese paper? This is Kozo, or Papal Mabiri. Tree bark of Kozo is the material for Mino paper. This is a shoji sliding door. Of course, Mino paper is used for it. It is a manufacturing method that makes Mino paper durable. It is said Mino paper keeps for more than 1,000 years. Actually, in a museum in Nara Prefecture, Mino paper from 1,300 years ago still remains in a good condition. Mino paper is used for restoration of paintings in an art museum s in Europe. This is Suikin Kutsu. Or a buried earthen jar that makes sound when water drips into it. I love this sound so much. It's chosen as one of 100 selections of soundscape in Japan. Listen. This is a shop which sells goods made of mino paper. Socks, gloves, clothes, and even wedding dresses are made of mino paper. Can you believe that? Yarn made of mino paper is used for them. The material is natural, so they are very good for your health. These caps are for cancer patients. I bought gloves for my daughter who is suffering from a skin trouble. In this castle town, the artistic lantern exhibition is held every autumn. This exhibition got a prize from Tiffany. Now, I'm visiting Akari Art Museum. Here, a lot of artistic lanterns are on display. They were made by participants in the exhibition. Of course, every lantern is made of mino paper. In the exhibition, all lanterns are put along streets in the castle town. 
I also came to see them several years ago. So beautiful. This is a lantern made by a then elementary school student. The title is A Ship That Ate a Rainbow. I like this lantern so much. On the first floor, you can buy goods made of Mino Japanese paper. In the castle town, there are restaurants, coffee shops, and souvenir shops. I'm sure you can have a good time here in Mino. Thank you for watching.